Hi everyone, today we're gonna do another video, a little bit of a how-to video, and I think uh, a really nice trick we can do is uh, teaching your horse how to stand on the pedestal. With me I have Hennessy. Hennessy uh, doesn't know that much yet and definitely has no idea about the pedestal yet. So I think it's a really good horse to try it with. He sees it already. So standing on the pedestal, one of the things you can do when you do trick training, um, but yeah, it's one of the basic, one of the smaller things and horses, yeah, most of the horses really like it. So that's why I wanted to do it with him now. Um, but make sure before you start doing this that you have control uh, over your horse and that you have a little bit of the basics ready. Good. Okay, so what do you need? You need a pedestal. And to make it easier, a little bit of some pellets, some candy for them. You just can help them a little bit with it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we have the pedestal here. Um, Hennessy has no idea yet. So the first step you do when you want your horse to stand on the pedestal is that you uh, want your horse to see the pedestal and make sure he's not scared of it. And you can see for him he already has no idea what it is and it's a bit scary for him. So we're just going to take our time till he is happy to be around at the pedestal. Okay, come on. So what's really important is to uh, yeah, comfort your horse a little bit. If he's scared, you just show the horse that it's okay. So you don't, you don't make it scarier by being scared of it yourself as well. You're just going to act like it's really normal and every time he puts a step forward, it's really good. Yeah, good. Good sound. And I use a lot of my voice to talk with my horses and if you do that with everything, it can really help uh, for things like this. And eventually, after your horse is not scared of it anymore, you hope that the horse wants to touch the pedestal. So you see he's already looking a little bit. Okay. And at one point you also need... Yeah. And now he touched it and then I just walk away from it for a second. So your horse also sees it as a good thing that he touched it, so the scary thing goes away. And then he also has some time to process it and like get rid of the tension and then we're just going to try it again. Good boy. Good job. So as you can see it's already so much better now and what is just important is you don't do the same thing for too long or push it too much because then you won't get the best reaction you can and if you just stop for the right time you'll get a lot back in the place. Okay, so before you put your horse on a pedestal or something similar make sure the thing you want to put him on is safe. So what we have is the pedestals from Passable. Um, they are really well made so the horse won't break through it or it won't like, fall to the side or anything because that's really important for the safety of your horse and also for the trust of your horse. So don't put them on anything that's like, made from plastic or something else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that the horse also likes to do it and that he won't be scared. Oh. Okay, so this pedestal is a small pedestal but I think it's really good to start low and not too big because your horse yeah, needs to understand that he can put his weight on something and that it's safe and that he can trust it. So the lower you start, the easier it is and then you can build it to a higher level. Okay. okay, never forget when you yeah, play with your horse because the really important thing with trick training is that you work in a positive way with them. So we have no goal today, we don't expect him to stand on it. If he does it, it's amazing, but if he doesn't, it's also fine. Um, so now we're just going to start slowly because he already wants to touch it. And then we're going to start slowly to put one leg on it and see if, if he still trusts it. Um, and if he's fine with that, I'm going to see if he wants to put two legs on it. Yeah? Okay, so also what is really important is that your horse is not too close to it and not too far away from it. So I would say a distance a little bit like this will be fine, so then he will end in the middle. Because if your horse's leg is really like this, then it's really heavy to get on. And if it's more yeah, stretched like this, it's so much better for the horse. We're going to see and we're going to slowly try what his reaction will be. Come on. Good job. And we do it in little steps, so if you already put one leg on it, we're gonna be good job. Yeah. Look, and that's really fine, that's a really normal reaction. Whoa. And look again. Good job. Make sure I have the candy ready. Good job. Yeah, super. Whoa. So, look, and now he was already more chilled than the time before. Wait, come on, put you. Wait, so, yeah, super, yeah. 
Goed zo. And if your horse is really struggling, you can also always do it with two people. So one uh, person can hold the leg and the other one can hold the horse. If your horse is already more advanced, you can also ask the horse by tapping the leg if he can do the chambet, so give the leg. He can also put it on like that. But you can do it again. No. No. Okay. And the next step is you can try. I always first try just with some candy. I act like there's, uh, here's a tree and he wants to grab some leaves out of the tree. And then I just ask him to come forward and to go up. Make sure the head won't go down because you don't want it to fall over. Yeah, okay. Now, in the end, he needs to try and feel a little bit on the pedestal of the way it can go on and if it's safe. Um, but he needs to do that himself. Yeah, super. Yeah, 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 push though. And now he tried a little bit and then I just walk around again. Okay, now so Hennessy he is now on the pedestal. Um, you just have to figure out a little bit what works for your horse. Where you have to stand to the side or front of it, and just give him the time to um, go on it himself. And then he will also like it the most and wants to do it next time again. Great job! And as you can see now, he's on it. He's really happy and proud, and he can see everything a bit high, even though you're already really big. Yeah. He has a smile. Smile. Great job. Yeah, good. Okay, so after really letting him know how good he was, it was what he did, you're just gonna put him back. So you're gonna take him off the pedestal by helping him a little bit back. Yeah, good. So, so we're gonna now see if he remembers what he did and he really realized what he did. And if he does it again, then we're also done. Yeah, good job. Good job. And as you can see now, just because you worked with patience and we just, took his, we just took our time, now when you try it again, he just knows it and he likes to do it and then you get so much more back for it. I hope you liked today's video, an easy video from how to have fun with your horse on the pedestal. Uh, just what I want to say is the, it's really important to do these things with your horse even if you want to do competitions or something else. You could see how he was first, uh, in the beginning he was scared of it a little bit and later he really liked doing it and then you can use it for everything you do. And it's just really good to have fun with your horse. Build a friendship, of course. So I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next week. Yeah.